I'm Stephen Gilbert, and I care about human factors. A lot of people don't understand what the field of human factors and ergonomics is and how it affects our everyday lives. As human factors practitioners, we apply what we know about people, their tasks, their jobs, their skills and characteristics to the design of the equipment and the tools and the environment of their work. Human factors is an important part of the engineering design process. We need to make sure that the systems work for the user rather than making the user adopt to the system. Human factors also helps fields like healthcare. We can design better training for healthcare professionals, specialized equipment, and better systems for you to keep track of your own health and patient records. Equipment for sports, such as helmets for football players and well-designed ankle braces for volleyball players, helps reduce the likelihood of concussion and ankle sprains, respectively. And ankle injuries are no joke. That's why I always make sure to wear my ankle braces whenever I'm playing volleyball. Human Factors is working to improve the lives of people and the systems they use every day. One example is that you can take real-time physiological data, such as electrodermal activity, and we use that to stream it in real time and match it up with people performing real tasks. In this way, we are using real feedback and real observation to improve people's lives and the systems they use, including farmers. Effective displays in aviation allows for improved pilot performance by reducing workload, improved aviation systems and training means, better flight experience, for customers, whether that's military or civilian. You've seen a lot of examples of how human factors affects our everyday lives. And these systems will just keep evolving because technology changes and we need to keep making systems better for people so they can do their jobs effectively. I think about it with my degree from cognitive science, but you could be an engineer or a designer and you too could be a human factors practitioner. That's human factors. Human factors. Human factors. Human factors. Human factors! And ergonomics. It just sounds way more scientific.